CAGR or the compound annual growth rate tells you the year over year growth of an investment. It's a mathematical formula that provides a smoothened rate of return of an investment. For example, let's assume you had invested 1 lakh in 2009 and every year you earned a return in the range of 12 to 17%. Now, what was the average return on investment during this period? Was it 22%? To determine your annual return over the period, you need to calculate CAGR. Before we dive into Excel, let's understand how to calculate the compound annual growth rate. The formula is ending value divided by beginning value raised to 1 divided by number of years minus 1. There are three methods to calculate CAGR in Excel. Method 1. This is the straight way. This method needs no major explanation. We can use the formula above to calculate the CAGR. In our example, it looks something like this. B8, divide, B8 contains the ending value divide by beginning value which is in B2 raised to 1 divided by E3 which contains the number of years that's the difference between 2015 and 2009 minus 1. The second method this is called the powerful way. Instead of plugging in the formula manually you can use the power function in Excel to calculate the CAGR. This makes the formula look slightly cleaner although I don't usually prefer this method. In our example it looks something like this equals power B8 divided by B2 that's the number and the power contains 1 divided by E3 minus 1. The third method is the rate function. This is a much lesser used method but very handy and clean way to calculate the CAGR. This is the method which I prefer and usually tend to use while calculating CAGR. Although the syntax for rate looks rather complicated, you only need to bother about three parameters with the n per, the present value and the future value. Let's see how the formula looks. Equals rate E3. So E3 contains the number of years. The PMT parameter, we'll skip that. The present value is 1 lakh rupees. Uh, don't forget to put the present value as negative, otherwise, you will re receive an error. And the future value is in B8. So, again, we get 14.82%. This formula looks much cleaner than the other formulas. If you have a different way to calculate CAGR, do share with us. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. You can also subscribe to our channel and receive updates on our latest videos.